How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the GPD Win. Now, at this time right now, in about a week's time, the GPD Win 2 comes out. So don't ask me why I got this. Um, but I actually really wanted it. I don't really need the GPD Win 2. But after using the GPD Win 1, I actually will get the GPD Win 2 in the future. But just not right now. Now this is a voiceover over the unboxing, uh, at the time I was recording the unboxing I wasn't really feeling very well and stuff. So this is going to be a voiceover. So it came with uh, a few accessories and stuff. So getting it out of the package you, are, you get a USB type C to a full size USB cable so you can connect this directly into your TV or monitor and use this as a little console. And along with that you get a tiny little USB hub uh, which works on USB 3 and it's got like a SD card slot stuff like that which is nice and I think it looks nice just kind of goes to show that USB hubs don't really need to be really really big like the ones I've got recently. It also came with a, a USB charger which doesn't really work uh, I tried it just didn't work. This um, UMPC is what I'm gonna call it requires 5 volts over the USB-C connection with 2.5 amps so if you're gonna use a phone charger and stuff make sure you have these specs otherwise it's just not gonna charge now I do have them luckily um, but uh, uh, the charger that came with it outside the box doesn't really work for some reason but that's all right because the original price for a brand new one I think still right now is uh, 450 pounds which is insane and partly the reason I'm not getting the GPD Win 2 right now or anytime soon is because it's 600 pound and that is just quite expensive for it. I'm just gonna wait for it to drop in price just like this one did. I got this refurbished with some accessories for 300 which again is a little bit for it but you're paying for the form factor and stuff. So anyways let's dive into the box. So first of the packaging is really really nice. I do really like how it's packaged. They've spent some time and designing and stuff like that and I really really admire that. Some companies and well pretty much all the companies should really start doing this. Now you get the GPD bin itself um, along with that you have um, and it, you also got the windows key for some weird reason they put that over there but um, it shouldn't be on there and I have to blur that out. Um, so if you pick this cover up uh, under it you have three more slots. The top right one has the charger in it and along with the USB-C charging cable I think and the one at the bottom has a um, headphone jack and some earphones and stuff like that that you can use with the uh, GPD win and also there's obviously the paperwork which i didn't really get into now i just want to set this up right now in this video um but my review is coming up so uh let's go ahead and turn it on so um it's basically 5.5 inches 720p and so it's really really tiny the bones are on it the bones on it are really really tiny i didn't really think they would look tiny and stuff but they actually do like i've got some other windows tablets and they don't really look really tiny like the bones and everything on it and the writing and text but this thing is really really tiny so you go through the traditional setup of windows now i didn't put the windows key in just now um but that's because i think if you log into windows with your account it's automatically gonna activate windows so you don't need to mess with that at least i didn't have to bother with it so while it's uh, while i'm setting this up let's talk about the specs but i will talk about all of this in the review this is just an unboxing of it not gonna like test it out not gonna play games on it and anything i'm just gonna get into the windows just gonna get into the desktop and then i'm just gonna turn it off basically now the gpd win uh, comes in a few variants uh, this is the latest model the old one that you uh, that i first came out was uh, uh, with the plastic lid on top the back plate that covers the um, display was made out of plastic and it was running the intel atom x7 uh, I think it's the Z8700 or is it just the 8700? Not sure, but it's the 8700 processor and um, that was the old one. So it's really, really nice. And then later on, a new version came out because Intel decided that they could improve the stupid processor, which already is all right with me. I'm not even bothered with it. Um, but they got the 8750 released and so GPD win just, uh, I mean GPD, decided to put that one in. And the first version uh, of with that processor didn't come with a fan. Now, that's kind of stupid, but I'm guessing they thought that it wouldn't need as much cooling because Intel said that they improved it in that way. So it's just stupid. Um, but anyways, in the latest version, they put the fan back in. And so now you can use that for cooling. So this is this version I've got right now is the 8750 uh, with the 8750 processor. But also the latest version, which again is this one, has a metal back play, which I think is really, really nice and has no purpose, honestly. I don't think it has any purpose because 
if you're gonna do that then do it on the bottom so it'll have a little bit of passive cooling as well as air cooling um, it'll be better for that but they decided to put the metal on the back where the screen is and it never really gets hot like it's always completely cold but it looks nice and I'm, I'm all in for it it's really really nice to hold and stuff it's a lot heavier it gets really really cold and stuff so it's just overall really really nice so anyways i've got this set up and i've been playing around with it so i'll have the review up in a few days or something um we'll play some games as well but for now thank you guys for watching i'll see you again in another video